Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today. Today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top five favorite nude lipsticks. So as we all know, I'm a huge lover of lip products and I really love my nude lipsticks. So I wanted to share with you guys some of my top five favorite nudes. But before we get into this video, if you're brand new to my channel, hello, welcome, my name is Madison. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit that little bell because now YouTube requires you to subscribe twice. So you only get notifications of whenever I post or anything like that if you hit the bell. So like subscription feed is like sometimes wonky, so always make sure to hit the bell. I don't know why YouTube is doing that. I wish they would just go back to the regular subscribe button and make it easy for everyone. But yeah, so make sure to hit that little bell if you wanna get notified. But now let's just go ahead and get on into my top five favorite nude lipsticks. All right, so before we get to this video, I wanna share a little app with you guys, and it's called Depop. So I am actually collaborating with them in this video, and I'm super excited about it because it's actually a really cool app, and basically what it is, it's a resale app. So you can buy and sell clothing, shoes, accessories, a lot of different things, which is great. So I actually even heard about this app from Aspen when I was watching one of her vlogs, and I even follow her on there too because she's got some of her clothing items on there, which is awesome. But yeah, it's a great way to kind of go shopping, and a lot of the stuff is usually pretty inexpensive too, which I really like. And also, I really like it because say if you want to purge out that closet or you're getting ready to move and you just want to make that move a little bit lighter on you, but you want to also get a little bit of extra money to help out, this is a great way to go. So I really like it. I have a bunch of items on my account. If you guys want to go follow me, I will have a link down below for you guys if you guys want to check out some of the items that I'm selling. If you guys have a Depop app as well, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to check them out too. But yeah, just definitely check out the link down below if you want to download the app for free and kind of see what I'm selling and what other people are selling too. Now let's go ahead and get on into my favorite nude lipsticks. All right, so for my first favorite nude lipstick is actually the one that I'm wearing right now. I am wearing it with a lip liner. I'm wearing it with the Coco K lip liner. I always love to pair my nude lipsticks with a lip liner. So I really love Coco K. Dolce K, um, I really love Strip Down from MAC. I also love 1993 or Naked from Urban Decay. I think those are all amazing nude lip liners. I really love my Too Faced one, which is also called The Perfect Nude. I finally ran out of that one, you guys. It's in my empties. I plan on doing empties very soon. But yeah, so I love pairing these lipsticks with lip liners, but one of my favorite nude lipsticks that have been one of my favorites for probably, I wanna say two years now. This actually was like one of the very first products I ever really did a review on here on my channel. And this is the Estee Lauder number 120 Desirable. This is just the perfect soft pink nude. I really, really love it. it. The formulation is so nice on the lips. It has like a satin finish to it, so it's not matte, it's not too creamy, it's opaque. It is just stunning. So you can see, you're gonna see a trend with these lipsticks because they all kind of have a little bit of a pink tone to them because I really like this shade on my skin tone and it's just absolutely gorgeous. I really love the formulation of the Estee Lauder lipsticks. They're formulated so well. They're very opaque, very even, and very comfortable on the lips. So this is definitely one of my top favorites and it's always with me when I'm traveling because it's like always like a good fallback for me. So if I'm not feeling like wearing a liquid lipstick or anything, I always go to this one because I know it's gonna look good with any look that I got going on. Okay, so for my second favorite nude lipstick, you guys are probably already gonna know what this is because I've talked about this quite a bit on my channel. I really, really love these. This is the Tarte Lip Sculptor in Basic. So this one is just a regular shade that you can get on its own. It's not one of their limited edition shades. I just love this one. It is like the perfect nude. Oh, I really love this. And plus the gloss down here is amazing too. I really, really like it. So this shade is very close to the one that I'm wearing, but it has more of a peachy tone to it. As you can see, it doesn't have as much pink as it. And it's just so pretty. This is also another shade that I just like gravitate towards all the time. I love to take the lip pencil from Urban Decay in 1993, line it with my lips, and then put this on in the center and then put a little bit of the gloss on the center too. And it makes you look like you have a little bit more of a pouty lip. So yeah, love these. Super comfortable to wear and they last for a long time on your lips too, especially for a lipstick. 
All right, so this next one I have been obsessed with. My Dobernope review, whoa, that was loud. My Dobernope review from Tarte's holiday collection is going to be up shortly, but this is gorgeous, you guys. It's super gorgeous. This is in their, I believe, their Kissing Squad set that is a whole limited edition set, and it's probably one of my favorite kits that came out from Tarte this holiday season. This one is called Kitten, and I've been wearing this one a ton lately too. This one is a gorgeous rosy nude. It's got that mauve undertone to it. I really like this one. Because I like it, it's a little bit darker. So say if I want a little bit more of an edgier look but not to go too crazy, I like to gravitate to this. Plus the lip gloss on the other side is really pretty too. I wanna show you guys that one. So there is a lip gloss right there. So again, I love wearing these and putting the lip gloss a little bit in the center just to make your lips look a little bit more poutier but this is just a gorgeous nude. Oh, I really, really love this one. <laughs> All right, so for my fourth favorite nude lipstick is one that has been a favorite of mine since, I wanna say middle school, yeah middle school because I remember my mom used to buy this all the time and I would always steal it from her makeup bag <laughs> because I loved it so much. You guys, I was a huge lip fanatic since like day one. I always loved lip products. I was a huge tomboy as a kid, but I still really loved makeup and I would steal this one all the time from my mom. And this one is called the Creme de Nude. This has been around for so long. This packaging is from their wash and dry collection, I wanna say, it was from a while ago. But when I saw that this one was in there, I was like, I have to get this because I have been through so many of these, you guys. I've been through so many of them. But it's just a really pretty light, soft pink nude. I'm obsessed with this. A lot of people now, they're kind of like a, getting away from like the muted lips. I've always really been into them. And especially when you're pairing it with a darker lip liner on the outer corner and kind of like, you know, shade them in a bit. It just creates a really pretty lipstick color and it's super comfortable. And it's also really easy just to kind of reapply throughout the day. So yeah, this has been an all-time favorite of mine for a really long time. I'm 27 right now, and since like middle school, I was probably what, like 13, 12, 11? So it's been a long time that this has been a favorite, and I know I've been through a ton of these. I've probably been through like six or seven of these over the years. All right, so last but not least, my fifth favorite nude lipstick is another MAC one because I think MAC actually creates really nice lipsticks. You can never go wrong with MAC on that. And this one is called Mineralize Rich Rare, Rare Breed. I don't know why I had such a hard time pronouncing that, but this one is so pretty too, you guys. Oh, I really love this one too. This one is just really moisturizing on the lips, but not too moisturizing to where it's going to slide right off. Look at that color. It is so pretty. I love the brown tones in this, yet it's still got a little bit of pink in it. So this is also one of my favorite go-to shades. I really love leaving this one in my purse because it's something that if I just wanna throw something on real quick, if that looks good by itself, I'll throw this on and this is perfect. Especially if I want something that's really moisturizing and comfortable, then this is the way to go because this feels so good on your lips. All right, so I'm gonna have all those lipsticks linked down below for you guys if you wanna check them out, but I really love those nude lipsticks because you can never have too many nudes, especially when you start looking at a bunch of nudes. They might look similar, but once you put them next to each other, you start noticing, oh wow, this has a different undertone than this one. So they really are different, but I really love these ones. These are like the ones I go to and they travel with me everywhere because I always like to have a safe backup just in case if I'm not feeling like a bolder color or if I'm not feeling a liquid lipstick because lipsticks are way more comfortable to wear than liquid lipsticks. And I've been kind of gravitating more to lipsticks lately rather than liquid lipsticks just because the weather's been a lot drier. My skin, my lips have been a lot more drier. So my lipsticks and my lip glosses have been like my best friends for this winter season. So also make sure to leave me comments down below what your favorite nude lipsticks are because I would love to try some of your guys' recommendations as well. I'm gonna make a little list and then maybe I'll include them in a future video. So yeah, definitely leave those comments down below. And also don't forget to check out Depop. If you guys wanna go shop some of my stuff or even go check out other people's stuff or if you wanna make a little bit of extra money too. So again, that link is down below for you guys. And I hope you guys all 
y'all have a wonderful rest of your day or night or whenever you are watching this and don't forget to subscribe for future videos and make sure to hit that little bell and I will see you guys in my next video.